Moringa, the miracle plant. Step two, cutting moringa leaves from the tree. Cutting the moringa branches should be done early in the morning. The midday sun could ruin some vitamins and benefits of the leaves, so please remember not to cut them when the sun is strong. So the morning time is the best time to cut them. Always cut the freshest and the greenest looking leaves. This means cut the end of the branches, not the yellow and dried ones. Isa too has done a good job and now she returns with a nice bucket load of moringa leaves. Step 3. Washing and peeling moringa branches. First you need to wash the leaves with water to remove all the dust and any insects. Please repeat this two times. The leaves need to be clean. Then strip off the leaves and remove all the branches. We do this so that we can speed up the drying process, which is the next step. Step four, drying the moringa leaves. You can dry them in a solar dryer. They will dry very fast this way. The air will remove all the moisture. But there is an easy way to do it at home if you don't happen to have a solar dryer. Choose a dark room with a flat surface. Clean and dark, free from dust and dirt and insects. Most importantly, make sure there is no moisture in the room. In the rainy season, drying the leaves will be very slow or even impossible. The drying rack in the solar dryer has a net so the air flows beneath the leaves. You can also use a woven flat surface for this, such as a bed. Finally, it needs to be dark. You can cover the windows up. Sunlight must not get to the leaves. Please don't forget to cover the leaves as well with a piece of cloth or some material. Step five, pounding. The leaves will take two days to dry out. You'll know when the leaves are dry enough when they crumble in between your fingers. You need to strain the powder to make it even finer. This is the way to obtain a fine moringa powder. Step six, measuring the moringa powder. Now we need to measure the moringa powder we have. Please do this very carefully. We don't want to drop or lose any of the Moringa powder, as we want to sell all of it. We will use this powder to make some Moringa tea. The tea is loaded with antioxidants and vitamins that will help clear your mind and boost natural energy levels, as well as help to support the normal sugar levels of the body and help with any sleep disorders you may have. Put the ground Moringa powder into the empty sachet bag. Then you need to seal them. We are making 20 tea bags and we will put all of them into a plastic bag. Now, you need to label the Moringa tea that have been already packed. You can make some nice, inviting and attractive labels. Do this carefully. You want the labels to look neat and professional. You can even print them at home. Take the time to make sure they look nice so that people want to buy your teas when they are in the market. 
You want to draw people in with these labels so that they are encouraged to buy your products.